Good evening and welcome to Live at Five. I'm Sarah Beth Jenkins. And I'm Kelsey Rushing. Don't forget to download our updated app for Apple and Android devices to stay up to date to all news, sports, and local events. Also, new feature on the app is coupons for local businesses. So make sure to check it out and support our community. We also want to make sure that you send us all of your events for us to add to the Richmond Observer Community Calendar. That email to send everything to is calendar at richmondobserver.com. And now for tonight's news. In today's crime news, another arrest warrant was executed in Rockingham. Cody Dean Grubbs of Rockingham was arrested on Thursday, October 19th after calls came in of a vehicle being parked in the middle of the highway and blocking traffic. Upon arrival, Richmond County Sheriff's deputies found cocaine on his person as well as inside the vehicle. Grubbs was charged with felony possession of cocaine, maintaining a vehicle for sale or delivery of a controlled substance, and impeding traffic. He was then placed in the Richmond County Jail under a secure bond of $5,000. First Health Diabetes and Nutrition Education has the area's only American Association of Diabetes Educators, and the recent AADE certification of two members of the First Health staff brings the program's number to four. AADE is a professional membership organization dedicated to improving diabetes care through education, management, and support. It's more than 14,000 professional members, including nurses, dietitians, pharmacists, and exercise specialists who work with people who have, are affected by, or at risk for diabetes. First Health's two recently AADE certified diabetes educators are Doretta Wright and Scott Crow. First Health Diabetes and Nutrition Education offers counseling for individuals with specific medical needs as well as those who wish to maintain the best of health. For more information on the program and the services it provides, Call 1-800-213-3284 or visit www.firsthealth.org slash diabetes. Discovery Place Kids opened in downtown Rockingham on February 23, 2013 and continues to be an asset to Richmond County and benefiting children's education. In addition to Discovery Place Kids everyday activities, the museum will also be offering the I Can Be Anything event on November 4th. This will be the third year the fair has taken place and is geared towards encouraging children to explore their career options at a kid's size level. Some of the attendees that will be set up include the Rockingham Fire Department, the Rockingham Police Department, and the Richmond County Sheriff's Department. There will also be professionals representing career paths within an electric company, architecture, doctors, nurses, and many more. Some will be set up outside in the parking lot with access to their vehicles for the children to explore, and others will be available inside Discovery Place Kids with giveaways for the children who attend. For more information on this event, call 910-995-0624 or you can call 910-997-5266. The Hamlet Senior Center is dedicated to provide services to those in need of help or assistance. The center is focused upon a vision to enhance, develop, and challenge the physical, mental, social, and spiritual life for all seniors and is dedicated to the greater quality and enrichment of life for older adults in this area. No less than 20 services are readily available for elderly individuals who find themselves in need of some form of care or support. A prime example of how the Hamlet Senior Center facilitates heightened community interaction is their gold medal winning line dance team consisting of Mary Baker, Daisy Brown, Luvina Williams, and Elaine McLaurin. They are known as the Southern Ladies Line Dancers. This group recently won competitions in Richmond County and in Raleigh, thereby exemplifying the synergy facilitated by the center. A larger team, the Silver Liners, also represent the Hamlet Senior Center. A staff member said, quote, We emphasize health maintenance and stimulation, both physical and mental, as ways of enhancing self-esteem. The Hamlet Senior Center is located at 102 Veterans Drive beside City Lake across from the Railroad Museum. 
and is open to those 55 years of age or older from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturdays. They can be contacted at 910-582-7985 or by email at director at hamletseniorcenter.com. On Saturday, October 21st, students from Richmond, Scotland, and Marlboro counties came together for a STEAM camp at Richmond Community College. It has been known as the RCC GREAT Academy, which is an acronym for Globally Ready Engineering and Technology. The camp is set up so that one Saturday a month, students come to explore electrical and mechanical engineering activities, as well as computer coding. This is the second year the camp has been in session, and it has already more than tripled in student attendance. Students from fourth grade all the way up through high school come together to work on college-level problems and tasks. There are always challenge problems toward the end of the day, but yet the students are still asking for more when it comes time to leave. The excitement the STEAM camp creates for the students is wonderful, and by the end of the camps in April, every student will have been exposed to each topic provided, which will help steer Richmond County's future leaders in a brighter direction. The G104 facility on Airport Road in Rockingham was the site of the most recent Operation Medicine Drop orchestrated by First Health and the Richmond County Sheriff's Department on Wednesday. With the direct supervision and working participation of deputies and volunteers, the process was quite successful. Persons with excess drugs or medications were able to simply drive in hand the pharmaceuticals to a waiting collector, and then safely merge back onto Airport Road. The medications are collected, cataloged, and temporarily deposited by law enforcement officers until an arrangement can be made with the State Bureau of Investigation for implementation of an elimination process in accordance with Drug Enforcement Agency protocol. The Rockingham Police Department will hold a similar setup at Medical Center Pharmacy on Long Drive from 1 to 4 p.m. on Saturday, October 28th which happens to be National Take Back Day for such medications across the country. Representative Garland Pierce was honored with the 2017 Regional Community Health Award sponsored by Southeastern Health. Pierce was recognized for his extraordinary work in advancing the health of local communities through partnerships, learning, and providing high quality and compassionate care. Since he's been in office, Pierce has been a pillar in the community and in government on health care. He has helped fight to keep hospitals open as well as being an advocate for allowing everyone to get the best health care available. Pierce works with members of a committee that hosts an annual Day of Caring for seniors which allows them to act as a healthy holiday meal and free screenings provided by local health agencies. Pierce commented, quote, it delights me to be able to give back to those in need, end quote. And we'll be right back after these messages. At Richmond Community College, we can prepare you for a high-skill, high-paying career in a variety of fields. From business to education, engineering, utilities, healthcare, criminal justice, information technology, and human services. At Richmond Community College, we can save you thousands of dollars on tuition through our university transfer programs that provide a seamless transition to universities and colleges throughout North Carolina. At Richmond Community College, we are always developing new courses and programs in response to the communities we serve. We offer day, evening, and online courses, and you can now complete five curriculum programs entirely online. At Richmond Community College, we believe in helping you prepare for a better life. Richmond Community College, local college, big impact.
Welcome back to Live at Five, and we are joined today by Renee Grzbowski. It's nice to have you here. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, we're glad you're here. And so Renee is the VP for the Sea Board Festival, and you've been vice president for what, two years now? Two years, yes. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I know you're excited for this big day on Saturday. We are so excited. You know, we work from February and all through the year, and by this time, we're just living, breathing, dreaming about the Seaboard, <laughs> I know. Seaboard Festival. We're ready to do it today. I, you know, I believe it. Definitely. Uh, we, we do have a, a compassion and, and um, to really do the best we can. You know, every year we want to improve it, make it bigger and better. Of course, and I think that's evident, and, and I'm not from here, like we talked about earlier, but everybody talks about the Seaboard Festival, and it seems to be such a big deal, and it seems that, like you said, every year it's better and better, and, and you try to include um, new and different and unique vendors as well. So who are some vendors or some crafts and um, foods that'll be there? Um, well, this year, um we have, well, 150 vendors. Wow. Um, and we have about 30 new um, craft vendors with different um, from last year. Um, we have some new, the, the jams and the jellies yeah. and the soaps. Then we have um, a lot of handmade um, items, handmade, crochet, you know, yeah, that's dish awesome. towels, that, that type of thing. Um, we have several vendors with the wood making the wood um, I heard ice. that'll be very exciting yes we have one local uh, vendor um, Randy Lamfrey mm -hmm. he will be here and we have someone else will be carving wood with chainsaw so um, we have a quite variety of the wood um, that's what it sounds like and then you have a blacksmith coming as well yes, right? he's local um, Paul yeah. uh, Haber H Haber sorry about that um, <laughs> Uh, and he is a local artisan blacksmith, so we're looking forward to seeing him. We have um, three new potters, or three different potters that are coming. Oh, and that'd they're be all, nice. yes, and, and they, they're different ones. One's infused with glass, and you know, so they're not, they're not made the same. That's um, exciting. Yes. I love pottery. Pottery is, is fun. So that'll be interesting to see. And, and I know that you guys try, strive to have like you said, like three new potteries, but they're all different mm -hmm. styles. And so you have a real smorgasbord of yes. stuff, which mm -hmm. is very exciting. That's awesome. So we, you can shop and eat and do all of that fun stuff. And then everybody knows that it's a family friendly festival. And so there's a ton of kids events going on and kids activities as well. Oh yes, every year. And we try to, um, you know, try to to add something new to, for them too. Uh, one of the newest attractions would be the amazing blazing fire truck, which will have, mm -hmm. um, that'll have four different, you know, several different um, events with them. I think it's a retired fireman who has a truck he's bringing down here and oh, he does wow. that. Oh, um, the kids will love that. Yes. And the, um, the train, the kids train down at the, uh, near the depot and then the face painting and the, you know, the, yeah. Uh, tattoos and the um, uh, jumpy, the bouncy house, uh, thing. bouncy yeah. houses. Um, <laughs> I even enjoy yeah. those. <laughs> but there's plenty of for them to do. Um, that will be awesome. Yes, and right where um, where the A and P building is, mm -hmm. um, that will be a stage for entertainment, and we'll have bleachers there, and there'll be entertainment there all day. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll have two stages. And then the other stage is down near the depot, perfect the visitor center, and there'll be entertainment there all day and yeah the, and at that stage will be the conductor's call at three o'clock right three o'clock in front of the depot and a little bit different uh is the cloggers will be clogging in the street yeah from time that'll to time. be that'll be exciting yes yes they were very popular last year at, at one stage so now we're kind of good um, that'll be awesome so something for everybody to enjoy like like we said it's a family affair mm -hmm. and, I, and i think um that you guys like you said, you work on it from February till now, and, mm -hmm. and that's something that you guys always keep in mind through everything that you go, um, even with vendors and the activities and stuff like that. Um, so you, the, there's going to be a 5K in the morning. Yes. So, um, and as 
you know and as I know, but some of you may <laughs> not know, it is a big deal. It's, it's, it's yes. I think this year um, it is a separate event, but right, you know, it, and it starts early. It's pretty much done at nine o'clock. But I think they almost have like two hundred runners this Which year. Which is really and impressive. And they come from everywhere. Yeah, um, and hopefully they stay and hang out. Yeah, at the they Seymour do. Festival. Most of <laughs> them do, and they make it a weekend event. Oh, that's perfect. Um, that you know, fun. this also gives the you know the economy a little bit of but you know. Uh, a bump, I agree. I guess you yeah, would say. Um, which is good. Yes, the hotels are booked. Um, a lot of the restaurants uh, get ready. You know, bring in extra staff to accommodate right. all the people. You know, because they're not just. And that's eat very that exciting for this community, definitely. Yes. So they have the race that morning, which brings in a ton of people, um, and then we have the car show. Yes, and it's down behind the depot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I know a ton of people will yes. appreciate that. Yes. And then, like we said, the conductor's call at 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. And it's just going to be a jam-packed day full of exciting things. And it's supposed to be beautiful weather, around yes. 70 degrees. Um, you know, and there was a couple more food vendors that I wanted yeah. to, to say. Oh, I, we can yes, talk about yes. food all you want. I just think I very well, much appreciate We've it. added some more um, uh, like barbecue vendors with the briskets and the ribs and all. Mm. And we have a gourmet hot dog truck coming in this year and a taco truck. I need to prepare um, myself yes, now. <laughs> yes. We have and sweet treats and uh, Cone is, will be there. Um, oh, good. And we have emergy, uh, emerging sweets mm -hmm. from yeah. Pinehurst that will be selling um, coffees, frappuccino, oh. and, and cobblers and all, which are in a jar. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, there's probably plenty of more, but that, you know. Yes. Well, theory. and and you guys Y'all have some same vendors, some new vendors, Absolutely. and and keep it exciting. Keep people coming back, mm -hmm. and and that's very apparent because this is the 35th annual. It's yes. people look forward to it and they mm -hmm. plan for it. Um, so that's very exciting. Um, so people can look up information on the website, correct? Yes, theboardfestival.com. Awesome. If they have any questions or to check Absolutely. some stuff out. Absolutely. Good. And we have a app which is Hamlet. Happening. Yes. Hamlet Happening. Yeah. Download yes. it and get ready. Absolutely. And if you have questions also, there'll be an information booth right um, on the street and they can help you out. Um, well, that'll be perfect. Yeah. We are We're excited. excited. We're excited. Yeah, I'm you know, excited. We build up, we build up, <laughs> build up to it. And like we said, we're, we're ready. We're exactly. ready to go. Um, well, you know, it's, it, it's a great time for everybody to come out and buy the Christmas gifts. Exactly. Get some Christmas shopping I know. Done. That's one thing I need to start doing. So that's what I'm going to do on yeah. Saturday. Eat and enjoy everything <laughs> and then get, do a little bit of shopping. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I know. Well, it's so nice to have you up here, Renee. Well, thank you. Whitney. Yes. Um, we appreciate it. Well, we sure are glad to have you. And hopefully everybody will come out on Saturday from starting at 9 a.m. till about 5 p.m. in Hamlet for the Seaboard Festival. And we'll be right back after these messages. store in downtown Rockingham in the heart of Richmond County. We are all about rustic farm style home decor and gifts. We offer a variety of antique, vintage, and new items. We love helping you make your house a home with unique one-of-a-kind finds. We also have specialty gifts for all occasions. Family Pharmacy has been serving Richmond County since April 2007, and we have enjoyed getting to know our customers since then. We take our jobs very seriously, and we'll do whatever we can to make sure you have what you need. Come visit us on Fayetteville Road in Rockingham, and we will treat you like family. I'm Kelly, I worked at Champion 4 for two years. 
Six years. Three years. One year. I've been at Champion Ford for 13 years. One whole year. 15 years. I'm Jamie, I've been at Champion Ford for 12 years. I've been here eight years. Champion prices, champion service, champion experience. Get treated like a champion today at Champion Ford. Just down the road from high prices, championfordlincoln.com. We are Champion Ford. Welcome back to Live at Five and now for tonight's sports. The Raiders boys soccer team ended their season with a 3-1 loss to Pinecrest on Wednesday night. Richmond needed to win the SAC tournament in order to earn a spot in the North Carolina High School Athletic Association playoffs, but unfortunately it didn't happen on Wednesday. The Patriots got on the board first in the 34th minute of the first half and another goal in the final minute of the first half. The second half of the game was a little more productive for the Raiders as they only allowed one goal. Five minutes after the Patriots scored their final goal of the night, Richmond senior midfielder Victor Lucero added to his team high goal total by drilling home a penalty kick following a Pinecrest foul in the box. As it's no secret to Howard, his career at the helm of Richmond Boys Soccer Program is over. Following Wednesday's loss, Howard finished his time as the boys head coach, having coached 549 career games with a 289, 215, and 45 record that spanned 30 years and saw over 600 players participate in the program. Howard also added, quote, it's bittersweet and not the way I wanted to go out, but I've had a lot of great memories with all my teams, but this unique bunch of guys have given me some new memories to reflect on. The junior varsity Richmond Raider football team has remained perfect all season and continued to get solid play from their offensive players, defensive unit, and special teams. According to their head coach, Patrick Hope, a big key to their success all season has been the offensive line. Hope mentioned that the line consisting of Austin Hart, Bryson Sanders, Zach Mabe, Brian Bowden, and Adam Stubbs have been the starting five all season. Hope also said that 71st has had the team's full attention all week during practice in preparation for tonight as they host the 71st Falcons at 6.30 at Richmond Stadium. And now we'll go to Kelsey for today's three-day weather forecast. Thanks, Sarah Beth. Today's weather forecast is brought to you by Champion Ford. As you can see from our office cam, it's a beautiful day outside, so if you have anything planned or not at all, go plan something, go with your family, enjoy the weather. But speaking of weather, let's move on to your three-day weather forecast. Friday will have a high of 73 degrees with sunny skies and a low of 49 day evening, also clear. Saturday will have a high of 74 with cloudy morning leading to an overcast afternoon and a low of 59 with likely thunderstorms in the evening and then a chance of scattered thunderstorms later that night. Sunday will have a high of 61 with scattered thunderstorms in the morning and a 50% chance of rain and a low of 35 that evening with clear skies. And a strong East Coast storm is forecast to develop late this weekend. This storm will receive a boost of moisture and energy from a tropical disturbance currently in the Caribbean. Damaging winds, flooding, and rainfall are potential threats in the Northeast sun Sunday through Monday, but we'll keep you updated. Back to you, Sarah Beth. Thank you, Kelsey, for the weather update, and we'll be sure to prepare for that cold front coming in. All right, folks, as you know, you have to make plans to head out to the 35th Annual Seaboard Festival this Saturday, the 28th in Hamlet. It's going to start around 9 a.m. and will conclude later that evening at about 5. As you know, the festival is a family-friendly event featuring crafts, kids' events, food, and a variety of entertainment. Each year, the event sponsors a regional car show, conductor's call, and a 5K race event. So put it on your calendars and head on out. 
For any questions, please contact the festival director at info at seaboardfestival.com or you can leave a message by phone at 910-557-5570. Well, Kelsey, I sure have enjoyed being here with you I today. I did too. We're usually in the office anyway. Just I know. <laughs> so it's, all, it's, it's so strange to be on here at the desk with you, but I enjoy it. I, I did, did too. It was nice to share this experience. And the Richard with Observer you. in general is doing so much with all the anchors and contributors. I know. I'm so impressed. Like, it seems like we're always doing something, which right. is nice. Exactly. And plus, we're about to do the new sports show, the Richard Observer or RO sports show, and then yeah. the Good Morning Sand Hills. Those, let's see, Good Morning Sand Hills will be out soon. Yes. Sports show will be out soon. We're doing a lot. I know. It's impressive. And, and we'll be here together making sure that everything goes well. And you'll be here given the news and the right. weather. It's yes. going to be fun. It's I love be fun. it. It's nice. Well, guys, thanks for joining us. And we'll see you tomorrow night for another edition of Live at Five.